Hi everybody and welcome back to MD Fly Fishing. Today I'm going to cover three knots, three knots that I use all the time. When I was a young lad I would just put the line through the hook and loop it round a couple of times and make a monstrosity of a knot. But I use these three knots and I use them for specific reasons and we'll go through these reasons as I go through the knots. Before we start I'm going to be using an old fly line so that you can see the movements within the line and where it goes. And I'm not going to be using a fly as such, I'm going to be using a swivel hook because it's got a bigger eye and again this will give you some visual aids. The first knot I'm going to go through is a Davy knot. It's very small and only requires a few turns of the line before you make a nice small tight knot. I use these in conjunction with small flies, size 18 or 20s, because at the end of the day, if you've got an 18 or a 20 fly on, you do not want a great big knot on the end of it. So this is a small knot, and it's called a derby knot, and this is how we actually tie it. Simple derby knot. End of your leader, through the loop, but keep it at keep it at the bottom and then cross over come back through the loop back under the loop so you end up with a figure of eight like so with a running line through the top and I simply do that keeping it straight pull down on it is your simple Davy knot. The next knot I'm going to come on to is a clinch knot. Now again, this is quite a straightforward knot and I use it for most of my flies size 8 up to size 16. Knot. You've got your eye, you've got your line. Run it through alongside the line itself and make five to seven turns on the line pass it back through the loop you've created near your fly line straight it all out with fluorocarbon and mono moisten the line with some saliva and then simply pull it down Easy, easy, easy. What we're going to do now is tie another clinch knot. Exactly what we did in the previous video, except there's a twist in it. We thread the tag end back through the line. And this is now called an improved clinch knot. This is the improved clinch knot. You make the clinch knot as you did in the previous video. Through the eye, along the line, five to seven turns. Pass the tag end through the loop near the eye of the fly, but this loop here, you pass it back through there. Make sure it's nice and neat, and then pull down. And that is your improved clinch knot. These are the only three knots that I use, and you can use them, as I say, for tippet rings and flies. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.